Starting today out with Fort Gary Brewing's Black Pearl Stout. Coffee stout, dry hopped with bourbon soaked roasted coffee beans. Wow. Yep, definitely coffee flavor in that one. I'm going to be up all night tonight. Let's take a look at the mail, shall we? And we'll start off with a letter that I got to my P.O. box. This is intriguing. Also intriguing that it's kind of damaged. We got here. Uh, from Montreal. Hello, Andre. Here is a two-pin female connector. <laughs> um, <laughs> you remember when I was making this thing a few, well, probably a month ago now, um, there was a, a fan connector on the board um, that <laughs> was this small JST connector here. Um, and I didn't have one that matched the uh, the board and the connector on the fan was different. <laughs> so Andre's taken pity on me and sent me one. <laughs> Thanks, man. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> So, what do we have from China? This one says SMD resistors. And it looks like it is, yeah, a package of 470 ohm 0603 resistors. These things are tiny. There's my exacto knife point. Wow. Um, yeah, I'm just stocking up on these. Uh, what the hell? Uh, never hurts to have components in various different sizes and values. 100 pieces 0603 SMD resistor. Resistors 1 to 910 ohms. 1% high quality and free shipping. I love when they put free shipping in the... Um... You lying bastards. Actually, I went and looked back and it was free shipping when I bought it. Um, but like so many of these guys, they've added shipping on at the moment. Anyway, uh, this came from Robot Maker 2015. And there's not much to say about them. They are just 1% uh, tolerance uh, surface mount resistors. Nothing fancy, just stock. Okay, next in we have sticker. Hmm. Don't think I ordered any stickers. Uh, okay, it's a, some kind of tape by the looks of it. Oh, this is copper foil tape. Okay. Um, and it's all come apart in the roll. That's not performance. It is copper foil tape. It looks like it's about four or five millimeters or thereabouts. Uh, maybe a bit less. Um, but adhesive backed. Now, normally, or a lot of times this stuff's used for crafting and stuff. But I saw somebody online using copper tape to make kind of freeform circuits on a non-conductive substrate. I can't remember what they were using exactly. Maybe glass, possibly. Um, anyway, I thought it might be interesting to play with. Shielding heat resist single side conductive strip adhesive copper foil tape. I, in fact, bought the 3 millimeter size. When I bought it several months ago, it was $3.13 with no shipping. But of course, it's changed. Uh, currently, they're selling it for five fourteen with three sixty five shipping. Wow, that comes close to doubling the cost, and the shipping is pretty much what I paid for it. Uh, f I got it from was it DLT QKYG underscore six? Another one of those names that just rolls off the tongue. Anyway, they've got uh, well, this stuff's available anywhere from three millimeters up to ten millimeters. Um, it's often used for lining the, uh, control cavity of a guitar or the back of a, uh, uh, pick guard on a guitar to shield it from, uh, electrical interference, especially the wider stuff like, uh, like these ones here, um, or that's even wider. Um, but craft people use it as well for some things and, uh. Yeah, you can use it to make to uh, do flexible circuitry, which is what I'm thinking of doing with it at some point in the future. Temperature tolerance, 10, 10 up to 120 degrees. 
case, so soldering temperatures might do a little bit of damage to it, possibly. I don't know. Um, but it's definitely conductive, obviously. Oh, there's 25 meters. Okay, that's what I didn't know. And it claims to be almost 100% pure copper. Cool. I'm just going to unwrap a little bit off the outside of this roll. Um, it's too bad this roll got kind of smushed in shipping and turned into a bit of an angry mob there. Hopefully it's not going to be a big deal. I figure I'll, uh, I'll just try a little bit of this out just for fun and uh, see what I can do with some just quickly here. That solders up real fast. Now then, let's uh, get some power onto these here. Okay, I've got the power supply set for five volts and 20 milliamp current limit just in case. What do you think is gonna happen? That is a red LED with a resistor in series soldered to a pub mat. One for a fairly horrible beer, so I'm not too concerned about sacrificing it to the cause. That's kind of neat. Now you can make your own custom circuit boards on just about any kind of a surface. I'm going to have to play with that some more. And I've got 25 uh, feet of this stuff, so I should be able to. Oh, sorry, 25 meters of this stuff. So I should be good for a while. Next in, expansion board module. My favorite. It is. What is it? Mmm, that looks interesting. It is an ESP32 cam module board so this has an ESP32 which is a Wi-Fi enabled microcontroller uh, it's a big brother of the ESP266 family um, lots of GPIO broken out onto it uh, a few of them on pin headers here but built onto the other side of the board there is a Wii camera and a micro SD slot so we've got for general purpose GPO. One, two, three, four, five, six there. Oh, come on, focus. And seven, eight by the looks of it. And then powers and stuff. We got an LED there. So I have to assume that some of these IO pins are actually going to be, there we go, transmit and receive. Okay, so I'll have to program it via UART. All right. Um, so the reason that I became aware of this and decided to grab this board was uh, I was watching Bit Looney. Um, I'll put a link to his uh, to his video somewhere around here. He set one of these things up as a time lapse camera, which he could all, which would uh, save the images. To the SD card and I think he could control it over the Wi-Fi. I'm gonna have to go back and find that video of his again because that's yeah this is his fault. ESP32 Cam ESP32 5 volt Bluetooth Wi-Fi development board OV2640 camera 2 megapixel module. I got it from Good Module and currently they're selling for 745 plus shipping uh, back when I bought it back in was that January, I think it was going for seven dollars and twenty seven cents with free shipping. Um, as always, search around the features. It's a low power dual core, thirty two bit CPU. That's crazy powerful. Um, with a two hundred forty megahertz clock frequency, it has five hundred and twenty k of SRAM and four meg of uh, PSRAM. Um, it has all kinds of interfaces, and it has support for the camera, which is already on board. And it has supports for Wi-Fi upload. Oh, maybe you can upload it by Wi-Fi. Okay, uh, the TF card or SD card, etc., etc. So station, access point, or both. 
in Wi-Fi. Okay. It talks about Bluetooth, but it doesn't say much about it down there. I'll have to do even more thinking about that and looking stuff up. And the camera module, 2 megapixels, so it can do still 1632 by 1232, up to 15 frames a second. So it can actually do video. In video mode, though, it's fairly, uh, fairly low resolution. But that wasn't the real application that I was planning on it anyways. And yeah, there's the actual element is 1632 by 1232. Next thing in, we have stereo mail plug. Don't see anything else in the back. I'm wondering if that's actually what it is. Okay, yeah, it's just another one of these little breakout modules. Uh, I've got a couple of these in male and female already for the three pin. This one's four pin. So the four pin version of 3.5 millimeter is uh, left and right for stereo again. This one has the fourth pin, that one there, or well, third, I guess, as V for video. And some devices uh, will do that. But if you connect this up to a phone, that'll be the microphone connection. And then of course, ground. Just a handy little thing for getting uh, signals in and out of stuff in a fairly elegant way. Video AV, 3.5 millimeter, four pin mail to AV, screw terminal, stereo jack, block plug, connect, XZ. I uh, got this from Little Apple 2014. They're currently selling it for the exorbitant price of $9.89. Back when I bought it months ago, it was a buck 28 with free shipping. Shop around, but the prices seem to have gone wacky ever since this plague has uh, engulfed the planet. Hopefully once everything goes back to normal, the prices will come back to uh, reasonable levels as well. But in the meantime, doesn't say a whole, whole lot about it down here. Not that we care. Uh, 3.5 millimeter, four poles, EV Bellin. I've spoken about this before. It's not a Bellin. It is not doing any balancing or unbalancing. It's just wire inside. And that's all I need it to be. It claims to be gold plated. Uh, don't believe that goldish and the last thing in today it is one piece analog cap hmm. what do we have we have capacitive soil moisture sensor okay not sure if you can see underneath this the uh, solder mask there we've got two different conductors insulated underneath there connected back through various uh, passive components to a little chip and three pins there with a cable okay so I picked this one up because I was thinking of doing some uh, some gardening sensing projects uh, at some point I'm not sure whether I'll show them on video or not I guess it depends on how well they work and I had previously picked up some of these ones ah, this kind which are the resistive type it just puts one contact on the back side and one contact on the front side and there's a little amplifier circuit board that goes with it and uh, it has this one this other one has uh, an analog and a digital output on it but I've read that these ones get all corroded up after a very short period of time with the metal on both sides, even though it is uh, flooded with solder, um, it does corrode over time in contact with the moisture in the soil. So that's, uh, that's a bit of a bummer. They were cheap anyways. So I decided to grab one of these and see how well it would work. It also has a little amplifier of some sort on it. it TL555C and it just has VCC ground and an analog output by the looks of it. So I guess it just sends a voltage out to whatever's monitoring it. And there's no adjustments on there whatsoever. These other ones seem to have a little sensitivity adjustment on them. Okay, I'll have to play with that in the near future. The ground's still not uh, thawed enough outside for uh, for planting in my part of the country. Um, it's getting close, but uh, nobody's going to be doing that uh, probably before 
mid to late May, I'm guessing. That's the normal around here. One Piece Analog Capacitive Soil Moisture Sensor Version 1.0 Corrosion Resistant with Cable. Corrosion Resistant, yeah, that's why I chose this one. I uh, got it from Satisfy Electronics. I did pay $1.39, but of course, let's just not talk about the shipping because it was free when I bought it. So, operating voltage between 3.3 and 5.5. The output voltage on that analog out is between 0 and 3 volts. The interface is PH 2.03 pin. I assume that's that connector. Includes an onboard voltage regulator, measures soil moisture by capacitive sensing, supports a three pin gravity sensor interface. Um, okay. Oh, that's DF Robot's uh, branding for the interface connection. Okay, fair enough. And I'll go put fine workmanship and good performance, durable in use. I wonder if that gravity interface is similar to the Grove uh, connection interface. Yeah, it does look like that gravity is sort of DF Robot's uh, intro kind of uh, level stuff, similar to the Grove stuff from Seed Studio. Okay, probably not directly compatible, but similar concept. Okay, I guess that makes a certain amount of sense. And there is the contents of today's Mailbag Monday haul. Let's quickly go over the shipping times. The 603 resistors took 40 days. The copper foil tape took 31 days. I managed to get a little bit mangled in the process. The capacitive soil, uh, soil moisture thing took 33 days. The little audio adapter unit took 25 days. And the ESP32 cam took 33 days. And this little guy took, this connector took about a week or so to get from Quebec to here. <laughs> Thanks again, Andre. Uh, <laughs> I appreciate that. Uh, I, I didn't know you were sending me that, so I did order some. They'll be here eventually, I'm sure. But in the meantime, if I need one, now I've got one. Merci beaucoup. Uh, thanks to everyone for watching. I appreciate that. Thanks as always to my Patreon supporters who uh, help me uh, help me pay for this stuff and uh, and keep things running around here and and buy me a beer now and again too. I appreciate that as always. That'll do it for today. Thanks for watching. Talk to you later.